a random guy who we care nothing about. Do they even know what the fuck's going on? <laughs> it's raining shiny stuff. Oh, and now the shroud completely destroys. Lovely. A long time ago, my father betrayed me in this place. His own son. I thought this was a grave. Tried to kill me, so I Don't had to kill me. him. Right over there. That's what the genophage reduced us to. Oh, Animals. Man. But you changed that today, Shepard. Now we'll fight for our children, not against them. It's just a pity Morden had to die. He wouldn't have had it any other way. And I'm sure wherever he is, he's putting in a good word for us. We'll name one of the kids after him. Maybe a girl. <laughs> but you, Commander, we can thank you in person. Tell the Turians I'll be deploying troops to Palavan immediately. And when you're ready to kick the Reapers off Earth, you let me know. The Krogan are back in business. <laughs> Goodbye, Commander. What will you do now? Spread the hope you've given us. Even now, there are clans gathering in the Kelphic Valley. I'll go speak to them and make sure this gift isn't squandered. Thank you for all that you've done. And know that Erdnot Bakara calls you a friend. Ooh, you, you failed as a shaman. Oh, how nice that was! Hell of a thing you just pulled off, Commander. Curing the genophage. I never thought I'd see the day. <laughs> Rex has agreed to help the Turians, Admiral. We should get their full support. I take it that leaves the Solarians out of the equation. The cost of their support was too high, sir. Well, I'll defer to your judgment on that, Commander. Let's hope we don't need them. I'm sure they'll turn around. Pack it out. Probably. I don't know. Commander, Erdnot Rex has begun sending troops to Palavan. You kept your end of the bargain, and now I'll keep mine. The Turian hierarchy will stand with humanity against the Reapers. I appreciate that. I'm glad we can help each other out. It's the only way we're going to defeat the Reapers. That much is certain. To that end, Several dry dock ships are ready to help build the crucible. Garrus will coordinate. Them. Actually, no, Garrus will yes. stay right here. And when the time comes to deploy it, the full measure of our fleet will be there for Earth. Oh, that's sort of the construction before it's going, I guess. Yeah. Hmm. Why don't they hear the help? Terrain support right away, Shepard. You must be exhausted. More than dying, it can't be easy. I'll sleep when I'm dead. We both know you need a clear head to win a war. There's no room for mistakes here. You should catch some shut eye. I'll make sure Joker doesn't launch any suicide missions. This whole goddamn thing is a suicide mission. Anything happens, you let me know. Well, I like how uh, Shepard actually isn't to his friend. Little character. Oh god, now not this sequence again. Ugh. I am dreaming. Too bad I can't speak this shit up. I can. <laughs> what the hell happening to his arms? Must have dislocated something. I mean, holy shit! I can only run. For these ghosts there. And 
two. And two. Hi. Okay. Okay, it looks kind of weird as well. Did ghost to have pedophiles or something? No. The kid I've actually no real sympathy for. But apparently this guy does. Glad you went to sleep on the couch. It's open. Shepard, there's something you need to hear. All right. Yes, sir. Is this a bad time? Just remembering the last. Thinking of some friends who aren't around thanks to this war. That's thanks to the Reapers, not you. Are you nice. thinking about anyone in particular? I don't really miss King. No one I want to talk about right now. I understand. <laughs> Can I ask how it's going to ruin the mood? Didn't you have something for me? The Solarian Counselor has an urgent matter. Let me guess. He called the comm room? The Council must be taking the Crucible seriously. I'll see you downstairs. Commander, there is something we should discuss if you are finished rewriting history. I made my decision, Counselor. There's not much anyone can do about it now. Yes. We're going to have billions more Krogan in the galaxy. It's a good thing you saved my life once, Shepard. Otherwise, well, I have concerns about humanity's representative, Counselor Udina. My agents have discovered that he's using his authority to move vast sums of money. For what purpose? We're not sure. Why bring this to me? Put Citadel security on it. You're instrumental in getting him placed on the council. It's only fitting. I what? I didn't even choose the son of a bitch. Yeah. Let's I think. Now. I think I chose Anderson. And grant me a moment of your time. You may find it interesting. Baller out. Uh, right, I guess he's no. Uh, I can ignore Hackett. I can ignore Hackett. Don't feel like talking to the guy. Doesn't have that much interesting to say, just like confirming that you. Hey, you're doing a great job! I didn't find it at all. Alright. Commander, Admiral Hackett has requested your help with a Cerberus fighter base on Navaria. Navaria? The Turians have given us top level access to their combat data. Their ships are already moving in to help the Alliance fleet. You actually secured a Krogan Turian alliance. It's one thing to hear about Commander Shepard, it's another to see him in action. You're sucking up. <laughs> Making babies. Making babies will be fun. Yes, we all didn't know that sex is fun. Unless you're not having fun, then you're not doing it right. And you shall not.
my turn. What's the first order an Alliance commander gives at the start of combat? Uh, I give up. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> All right, big guy. What do you call it when a Turian gets killed by a horrible spiky monster? Friendly fire. Come on, that one goes back to Shang-Chi. How you gotta respect the classics? How many humans does it take to activate a dormant mass relay? 602. 600 to vote on it, one to ask the Asari for technical help, and one to request a seat on the council afterward. <laughs> How do you know when a Turian's out of ammo? He switches to the stick up his ass as a backup weapon. <laughs> Why does the Alliance hire pilots with brittle bone disease? You're, you're shitting me! The Turian military has one about me? Oh, absolutely. I heard it myself from a private back on Palavin. All right, why does the Alliance hire pilots with brittle bone disease? So their Marines can beat someone in hand-to-hand -hand drills. <laughs> Damn, you need to tell James that one. Hey, what's the hardest part about treating a Turian who took a rocket to one side of his face? Figuring out which side took the rocket. <laughs> oh, nice. Never thought I'd see the Krogan and the Turian team up. Even the Reapers have to be a little nervous about pissing them off. I'd say more than a little. I doubt it. I'm sorry about Morden. He was a good man. Yeah, he was always running those tests. <laughs> One time he tagged me in the middle of the night to ask how many livers humans had. And this bump on my elbow? He said it was just a mild bone deformation, but I'm pretty sure he stuck a probe in there. Glad it was just your elbow. I always thought he was crazy. Useful, but Look at his crazy. elbow and he looks at his hand. And he gives up his own life. To save the Krogan. Doesn't do much to disprove the crazy theory, huh? <laughs> I guess not. But he was one of ours. So now that we got the Krogan and the Turians, what now? The Krogan help us turn the tide on Palavin. They can shoot at something useful for a change. Dig till we hit daylight, huh? Works for me. So how does it feel knowing Krogan will be singing songs about you until the end of time? I think it would be an honor. <laughs> There's enough misery in this universe. It's nice to see something go right for a change. Can't yeah, say I've right. ever really witnessed history in the making like this. Well, except for Sovereign attacking the Citadel. And then there was the Collector base, but this one felt good. And let's hope Rex keeps running the show on Tachanka. Maybe we should hire a food taster for him. Imagine the carnage if some young, hot-headed Krogan took over. It could happen. I know. It's a chance we have to take. But I have to say, if it wasn't my own world that needed the help, I might have looked for a way out. I'd be lying if I said I didn't consider it. Anyone <laughs> would have second thoughts about the Krogan. They just better remember you didn't act on it and return the favor. Act on what? Didn't tell you anything. Ow, 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 ow. Ow. You right? He's, looks alright. Guess the server's implants just sort of did something great to his neck. Alright, one moment. I want to see what that message was that I got earlier. Okay, nothing important. Commander, Chief Engineer Adams would like to speak with you down in engineering. Oh, God. What do you want? Mr. Adams. Mr. Adam. Edie doesn't pilot the Normandy. She is the Normandy. No, she's a passenger in the Normandy, just like us. The ship was a space-bearing vessel before Edie even existed. Engineer Donnelly is correct. The Normandy SR2 was completely spaceworthy prior to my installation. See, Edie agrees with me. Edie's mind and the Normandy are a whole entity now. You couldn't just move the processors and the AI core to another ship. Engineer Adams is correct. Processes that contribute to my self-awareness are spread throughout the ship. See? Edie agrees with me. But unlike Edie, our brains couldn't have existed without our bodies. That is a requisite from being organic. You have to look beyond that limited definition of life. Joker pilots the Normandy. He doesn't take over Edie's body when he does that. When Edie controls the ship, she is piloting, just like Joker. Edie doesn't pilot the Normandy. She is the Normandy. Edie can direct the Normandy with her thoughts. She sees, hears, and feels through the ship's sensor arrays. The Normandy is her body. I've seen Edie's body, and its curves are a fine sight better than the Normandy's hull. So what do you think, Edie? Are we more than our thoughts? I'm done. 
Any more of this, and my head's gonna explode. <laughs> anyway, man, you wanted to see me here? Problem I mentioned about a core overload possibly venting into the engineering compartment. Daniels, Donnelly, Edie, and I have been brainstorming and comparing notes. You see, the venting occurs when IES sinks are in a back cycle. At the same moment, the main core is at peak draw, such as from sustained kinetic. Oof, what Kenneth means to say is that we're pretty sure we can make the system safer. We just need a GX-12 thermal pipe. Unfortunately, we're cut off from Alliance supply chains. Could you keep an eye out for one the next time you're on the Citadel, Commander? I've got the specs right here. Are these modifications really necessary? It's a safety issue, not exactly critical. Under extreme conditions like heavy bombardment to the kinetic barriers while traveling at peak flight speeds, plasma can vent into this compartment. It would vaporize anyone.